Well, uh, we saw, as, as Right to Works took the uh, spotlight, uh, we also saw Governor Daniels taking the spotlight this week, uh, delivering the uh, Republican mm -hmm. response to President Obama's State of the Union. Uh, Mark, what does this mean for, uh, for the governor's future? I think for the governor's future, it, uh, it, it, it means something positive. Uh, he, he came off, um, he, didn't, he didn't come off dynamic. He didn't come off. Character. He never comes off as dangerous. Right. But, but if, you, if you've ever met him in uh -huh. person, as we all have, you, you know he can be a charismatic individual. Um, in small groups. In small groups. Right. Speeches on national TV. Right. And speeches on so national TV, not, not, not so much. But, uh, but you, you, you look at him and you, you didn't see a bitter partisan attack on uh, the Obama administration. As a matter of fact, he spent his entire first paragraph lauding uh, things Obama has done. He just said, look, you know, the, the, the guy is, is, is not Satan incarnate. He said, uh, you know, he, he, he's done some good things. But, and then he went into th uh, things that he, he disagreed with. And, and, and I think that is, going, you, that is going to play a lot better with the voters than, than just than, than, than caustic rhetoric that uh, you know tries to tear down an individual. See, to me, that's that's the sort of mm -hmm. thing you want from a vice presidential candidate. He doesn't I, want to, I, I, I think he's got a fair shot at being asked if you know. He'll, he'll be asked, but he won't do it. Uh, I, 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 he'll I be on a short list. Well, Annette. he'll be on a short list, but. I, I don't think he'll do it any more than he wanted to do the presidency, and and, and, and my uh, contention all along has been that he does not want to go into 2016 tagged as a loser. He doesn't want to be a loser as a presidential candidate. He doesn't want to be a loser as a vice presidential candidate. He wants to come in as someone who says, hey, all right, you tried the rest, now try the best. you know. 2016. Um, is what I mean, 20, I can, I can see him 20, in a cabinet position as an ambassador, he, he, something he, like he, that. He could be a, a, a cabinet position would be a you know would be a tremendous thing, and and you know um, to Obama's credit, he has not shown um, you know total partisanship in appointing his cabinet. Uh, Ray LaHood from Illinois. Is his, is his transportation secretary. John Huntsman and was his uh, ambassador it, to China. Just, so. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, uh, prominent, prominent Republicans uh, who have been appointed to important positions. Mm -hmm. um, just and, as Lincoln did. And yeah, I actually. think, um, I, you know, I, I think Obama might look at Daniels and, and say, look, you know, I, 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 this guy didn't attack me. He, he, yeah, he, he was... He, he did what he had to do, but, you know, he, he, he came out and sa he said some pretty nice things about me, actually. So I, I, could, I could see uh, Daniels being considered in the next Obama administration, which I think is inevitable, uh, to, as, a, as a cabinet member. That's, and a, a very and a very effective one, too. Uh, he was he was uh, George uh, George W. Bush's uh, budget director. Budget director, yeah. um, you know, is you know, could he be possibly be uh, secretary of the treasury? Um, some type of he, he has shown uh, more of a I, I think more more of a fiscal bent right. than anything else. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, yeah. yeah. We shall see. We'll be watching well, that. And and, well, and, and people and people have blamed him. They've said, "Oh yeah, well look, George, George Bush ran up the deficit. He took." But that was really a lot of that was after Daniels left. Well, not only that, but a lot of that had to do with the war. Right. Um, you know. Well, how, well, how much how much control? Did Rich Daniels have over whether we went to war? Or not? Well, ultimately, they were they were Bush's policies. You know, the the, de the tax right. cuts, the war. Um, you know, and, and you can question, you know, I've, he, he, there, there were cuts that I think Daniels wanted to make that Congress wouldn't make, so. Right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but, nonetheless, I think he is tainted by his involvement in that administration, Absolutely. which I think is pretty much universally regarded as a disaster, so. 
we'll see. <laughs> but I think by 2016, and people have short memories. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by 2016, no one's going to care whether he's, whether he was budget director for George Bush or not. Yeah. They'll, 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 <laughs> I, they'll, they'll, I they'll be there'll be some extreme partisan Democrats. Yeah. David Axelrod, someone like that, will will come out and try to remind people. Of, uh, well, of that, that's what campaigns do. So, but I don't. I don't <laughs> so I don't think I don't think the Americans will be allowed to forget that. So, uh, that's all the time we have this week. Uh, we'll be back next week with another political roundtable.